Hi, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> Spirit uh, Science. Yes, another edition of, I almost did it again, another <laughs> edition of Spirit Science. I'm Diane Lantier of soulrestoration.ca. And Heather Garrett from Planet Botanics, planetbotanics.com. And I'm super excited to finally have on our show Laura Young. Laura, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, girl. So we were just talking about Laura. Um, what her? What? What are you? <laughs> what are her specialties? Are who well, are we? <laughs> okay, well I'm still trying to figure that out. Yes, totally, right. Yeah, so I'm on the journey. path like everybody else. But my title is, and I'm intuitive. In this moment. In yeah. Yes. In this moment, I'm an intuitive numerologist, life coach, uh, teaching the technique of life mapping. Awesome. Tell us about that life mapping. That sounds very interesting. Well, life mapping is a goal manifestation technique that mm -hmm. I've used myself since I was 18 years old, and it's a way to really get your focus on what you want more. Um, we have to get to the tipping point of investment mm -hmm. of our goals. So if you're only focusing on your goals 20% of the time and just dealing with the fire of the moment, unfortunately, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Tipping point is key, and what we need is tools that can help us water the wanting more. Up to 60%, I think, is necessary. So this technique has uh, worked. I actually manifested my husband, believe it or not, 27 years ago with this technique. Um, I've lost a lot of weight over the years with this technique. I've created my home, our investment property, our house in the gas bay. I'm running out of stuff to make. Oh, <laughs> you can help I'll me. I'll give you some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm supposed to That's, do. <laughs> did you mention water in there? Did you say something about water? The watering. Watering the wanting. What does, what's that? Like planting well, the seeds? Yeah, planting the seeds, but then of course we have to water them yeah. with that intention. And what we water with is the connection our emotions and so we have to have something to remind us to really water that 60% minimum mm -hmm. so that we can manifest it in reality so it does take in a big investment to actually change history um, that's mm -hmm. why so many people just repeat history so um, this technique is a visual technique it does work very well it does take work it's not a magic pill but it definitely does work and I teach it to everybody that comes for a full session with me that's awesome. very cool. Mm -hmm. How did you get into all of this stuff? You've been doing, you were just going to ask that well, question? No, actually, oh. I was thinking about how I want to do sessions with all the people <laughs> we've had on. I know, me too. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you guys meet a lot of people. Yeah. Um, how I got involved in this is I've studied metaphysics for most of my life. I started reading books when I was six years old on aliens. Wow. Um, I've been odd from day one. Always <laughs> oh, questing. Please. Always questing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five on being odd. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really accept it then, but certainly I do now. Yeah. Um, so I've always been questing, looking for the more. And it led me down some interesting paths. And I always tell people that I have a PhD in weird because <laughs> I've studied probably most things. I've eliminated a lot. But I did find, find some really key things, um, some tools to develop my intuitive self. And I think one of the most important tools I've ever discovered was numerology. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing. And I basically am very skeptical, too. So I was studying, really looking for the proof mm -hmm. um, as how I could make this work in my life. And numerology helped me change myself as a person so radically based on the strengths and weaknesses of the individual um, and their calculations and the numbers that are aligned with them. You can see the deficiencies. You can start to work on them. You can see the strengths. You can bring them out. And I did all of that, and I continue to do it. I'm not done yet. But um, I was in finance for 25 years, and I only left that 15 years ago to do this full time. Now, it did take a lot of courage to leap from the corporate world into yes. basically being a gypsy, um, but it was the best thing I ever did. And so now I seem to attract people that are professional people looking for tools to really have an expanded life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you do your astrology, do you ever... Um, numerology. As, sorry, <laughs> numerology, as an aside. Do you ever do anything for the planet? Like people say, oh, 2016 is this kind of year, 2017, yeah. in a general way? Yes, I do. I do a little bit of that. Um, you can, you know, there's so many numbers around the planet and where we are right mm -hmm. now. You know, if you break down the, um, the date of 216, we're in a nine. And according to numerology, nine means ending, but no fear here. The mm -hmm. planet is not going to blow up. But what is connected with nine is drama, disruption, emotion, <laughs> oh my closure. God. Yeah, so there is a lot of that. You know, and I did speak about this in my, new, in my newsletter. It just went out today, actually, about, you know, how crazy this year has been. Yeah. And yeah, really sure. what's important for all of us is understanding that we have to keep our own personal vibrations very high regardless yes. of yeah. what's going on. Um, it was easy for many of us to fall into uh, a place of despair uh, recently because of the U.S. elections. And uh, 
that lasted for one day uh, for me because I realized that it wasn't going to help if my own personal energy right. was yes. negative based on the situation. I knew that us as energy workers have the ability to change the world. Yeah, and there's so much um, there's so much possibility in in that happening, and such a call out to so many people. Uh, I've seen so many spiritual teachers sort of come out with that yeah. same message of how we can change things, and and it's 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 been at the same time this huge call to action. But I think so, that's what it's really, about. Yeah, yeah I think it had to happen for yeah. us to really step forward, and not just us, of course, everyone and understand that we have to make choices. Mm -hmm. That, you know, this was all manifested from all the hate and the fear and the negativity in the world. It had to happen. There's just been so much. And so it became real. So what we can do as practitioners is that we can make our understanding of life become real also. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, it's going to take work. And I did ask everybody to do that in the newsletter and be committed and join me um, to really be aware of their own inner energies all the time. Mm -hmm. Tipping point again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 2017 is a new beginning. It's a one year. Yeah, it's a one year. And so one means new beginning, new starts. It's the first year of a nine-year chunk of time. And um, it's an important time. Uh, let's plant new seeds. Let's mm -hmm. not just repeat history. You know, there's even so much good in bad things. We have to understand this world that we live in is a place of duality. And always will be. Sure. Yeah. Always will be. Because well, we, we are dual, we are dual exactly. beings, right? Yeah. So it's saying it is pick a, a path. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The best thing I heard on Facebook, I have to say it was on Facebook, um, was if Trump can be president, I can do anything. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's yeah. so true. It's so true, yeah. So that there's good in negative. Right. There is always. good always, always. It's to you know, to, to relabel the experience and say, I'm not going to say this is just a bad thing. Let's all learn and grow from it, mm -hmm. and let's make a better place. And it's our each of our ind individual responsibility to get to that place. It's not anybody else's responsibility to get you to that place of, mm -hmm. of inner peace and joy. It's your own responsibility. That's right. Make yeah. a choice. And that's how we create it, you know, yeah. externally. It's absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It does take work, you know. Yeah. But I'm not going to say this is a bad thing because mm -hmm. that puts me in a bad place. You know, yeah, yes. exactly. I really think that this is just an opportunity for us to shine um, as energy workers and to shift this. Yeah. So let's talk more about numerology. Yeah. But yes. wait. Oh, we never asked about our website at the oh, beginning. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I was going to so do that at the end. But yes. Yeah, just absolutely. so we make sure that gets in there. Yes. Okay. Well, anybody um, that wants to uh, sign up for my newsletter, they just have to go to my website. And uh, I've changed it this year. I, I used to be known as a new school of thought. But I've changed it, and my new domain name is um, Your Days Are Numbered, three 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 dot ca. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, it is. So it's real too, because your yeah. days, of course, are numbered, yeah, yeah. and use them the yeah. best you can by understanding your numbers. <laughs> okay, and you work. Um, do you have a Facebook? Uh, business page as well? No, I don't. Okay, so I, don't I do everything through my uh, one Facebook, so okay. I, I don't promote myself a lot on Facebook. Your website, you mean? My website, yeah. yes. The website, you can go in and you can automatically hook up with my newsletter, and it goes out on the first day of every month, and it's got the, um, the actual column that I write for Tone Magazine. I've written that column for 11 years, and it's like an astrology uh, forecast, but it's based on numerology, so okay. it's very, very helpful. I, and you work remotely with people. I do. <laughs> That's the I word do. I was looking for remotely, before. <laughs> yes, remotely. Virtually, remotely. Yes. I do um, uh -huh. also offer phone sessions, Skype sessions, and FaceTime sessions. Perfect. And I'm blessed to have clients all over the world. Awesome. Um, and yes, of course, people come into uh, my office, and my phone sessions are 90 minutes for first-timers, and then usually um, one hour after that for the updates and uh, my virtual sessions are half an hour or so. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, the life mapping, how much time does that take? Well, I actually incorporate it into the 90 minute session. Mm -hmm. It's part of the full reading. So it goes in at the end of the session and it's the tool I leave people to really take responsibility for getting out of the rut and manifesting mm -hmm. the life that they really want. So it's a part of every session. So okay. one, my one hour people that come in for secondary readings, they've already got that. We do checks and I help support right. them on the journey of life mapping. But basically everyone gets it in the uh, full session. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. 
So she's she's always looking at her birth date. I can see what yes. she's looking at. Well, no. So we wanted to talk. So did, what else would you like to talk about in terms of well, numerology? You know, I'd like to give you a little example. Okay. I think that would be beneficial so people can see the, the, um, the emphasis and the strength of these numbers. So um, when I added up your birthday, actually, um, there's a number called the birth path, and that's pretty much adding up your day, month, and year of birth and breaking it to one number. But before you break it to one number, you can break it to the two, and you are actually a 26-8. Eight. eight is the warrior. So eight is very strong, businesswoman, corporate woman, but the 26, that's beautiful because both two and six are connected to the heart chakra. So eight is male energy, but those other You're two ones are feminine energy. So right away in that number, I see a balance. And I would have said, you need to be the boss. You know what? You're not going to listen to anybody anyway. You need to have this really... It's almost like she knows. <laughs> <laughs> You're very decisive. You know what? Business is always going to be important to you. You need to always have that very strong foothold in the material world. And so for you to be even a corporate girl, many people that have eights in the traditional world, they work in finance. They work in corporate places. They are CEOs. They can be the directors. Now, what I always say to my eights is that they need to balance their consciousness with spirituality mm -hmm. and spiritual practices. Because some eights, if they're not careful, their philosophy can be whoever has the most toys wins. <laughs> and so they can be very connected to materialism. So again, balance is needed. And you are also this year in a seven year. And I happen to see a lot of people in a seven year. Um, more people than any other number. Mm -hmm. And a seven year is a time to really reevaluate your life. And you might have noticed as of October of last year, it's a time for you to really think more about you. It's a me year. It's time for you to fix whatever needs fixing, mind, body, spirit, emotion. Oh, Laura, it's always a me year. <laughs> okay. okay, well this year for sure it's a big me year and you're not okay. done yet. So you need to really focus on the me and I call it the time to be a priest, to contemplate, to find Zen, to really Ooh. find a time to get away from the mind. You know, don't, because there's a lot of worry and the critical voice can be very loud in a seven influence. So what you do is you try to get to a place where you're mastering mind instead yeah. of it mastering you. And um, Zen is so important. So we can get there, you know, deliberately through art, music, even exercise takes us there. And so, um, yeah, next year, eight, all about work, career, business, and money. It's a powerful Ooh. year for an eight. So awesome. it's, it's a year that you're going to see yourself being more stabilized. And it's more of a harvest year where you can see some of the fruit you know, coming to the fruition uh, that you planted. So it's a time that you can get the rewards, the title, the rank, um, starting in February, actually. February is when it starts for you. Wonderful. Bring it. Uh, just a, a note on that. I do actually have a foot in both worlds because I have my energy work. Ah. And I, I have my muggle job. What's muggle job? <laughs> oh, well, you know, in Harry Potter. The, oh, the non magical oh, people I see. are okay. muggles. Of course, I have so all I the have, books. I yeah. should know that. I have a muggle job. <laughs> yeah. And I have my energy work. Oh, fantastic. So I do, um, yeah, I do. What I do, do you in your uh, normal job, in your mother I'm job? an executive assistant. Oh, see, that makes perfect sense yeah. because that's exactly what you should be, executive, that corporate, that feeling. So for you to be in charge. Executive assistant. <laughs> yeah, but still, you know what? I know that those executives could not be an executive without you, and you probably <laughs> boss them around. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to ask you uh my so this year I'm 44. I turned 44, which is also a neat number. Yeah, exactly. So does that make that year even more powerful? Because yeah, you're... yes, yeah. Uh, and I would say it is a year for you even more to focus on the me, to really water that plant, to really look at any cracks in the foundation and really go hard at fixing them, to really think about you know, um, do I just want to repeat history, or is it time for me to scrape it away and and rebuild a better me? And you just water, 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 and then this warrior comes out that you are in the eight year and there can be movement in your traditional job in your non-traditional job it's a time to really you know see the harvest and Fantastic. move forward yeah so key times next Brilliant. year are february <clears throat> june september and november but the whole year is about getting a stronger foothold in the real hard world so it's a good time to buy things you know buying and selling a lot of people buy houses sell houses buy i don't a have car. a problem buying things okay <laughs> usually eight <still>. investment <laughs> yeah <laughs> investing yeah yes exactly and would oh. you like to talk about you a little bit? Of course, I All right. love that. Okay, well, when I add up your day, month, and year of birth, you're a 28-1. Now, ones, I always say, need to be self-employed, self-reliant, independent, stand on their own two feet. The two most powerful numbers in numerology are 8 and 1. 
Ah. Yeah, yeah, powerful <laughs> women, exactly, exactly. These aren't frilly girls at all. These are strong women that really need to run their own show. And mm -hmm. if you didn't work for yourself, you need to be in a very high level of authority, you mm -hmm. know. So in the government, I see ones and eights, you know, being in the director, boss, leadership role. It just makes sense. And you're actually in a two-year this year, same as me. I'm in this influence, too. So in a two-year, it's all about being sensitive and emotional because of some relationship issues. And so there can be issues going on with kids and partner and family. Mine has been my dear mom, you know, and I did lose one of my, my dear mother-in-law passed this year. And we don't have to have relationships in, but it can happen. But it's also a year that you can develop deep personal relationships and have new people enter in your world. Now, you're going to be more of a nerve ending with legs this year. It's just normal. It's normal. <laughs> wow. It That's is. That's quite the description. Yeah. You're just, so, gonna... just so you all know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> okay. All right. So I yeah, know you're... it hasn't been an easy year yeah. because I've been there. But you know yep. what has helped me is the understanding of numerology and the cycles. And I knew it was coming. Example, oh. my, last, my last two year, nine years ago, my father passed away. So for my mother-in-law to pass away this mm -hmm. year. But it doesn't mean we have to experience death. It's just a time of relationship transition. You're not a victim to it, right? No, it's exactly. It's just information to help you, yeah. Exactly. And um, another example is 27 years ago, I manifested my husband in a two year. So you can see, you can settle, and you can also have that relationships kind of hmm. leave also i also lost a pussycat this year so it was hmm. you know a kind of a trying year for me emotionally but i think probably i heal up faster because i kind of expected it based on where i am right. in my cycle so it makes sense mm -hmm. exactly so this is a year for you to really you know not maybe be there for yourself as much when you're in mm -hmm. a two year it's more about the two it's about the others it's about really being there being the diplomat the cooperator you know looking after others needs being the mother the caregiver and then next year ta -da, it's a rebirth year so it's all about self again so be careful though because i usually it's one of my years i say you could get pregnant <laughs> yeah that won't happen to me <laughs> no but it's not about having a baby always it's about right. rebirth of self and so um, really next year it'll be easier to focus on self. It might take till really July, but um, the two year does tend to bleed over till the end of June a little bit. So we're still going to have that sensitivity connected to relationships. But if you can right now start to water you more, you're going to use this cycle to its benefit. Mm -hmm. And then next year, um, a little new baby comes out in July, hopefully. That's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot to absorb. It too. is a lot. It is a lot. Very and you know, even the breakdown of 28 1. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh oh, I think I might have, a, have to cough. Excuse me. That's okay. <coughs> I brought you some water. No I, talk, I talk fast, therefore, I, I dry out my throat. The number two is all about relationships, the number eight is all about business. So, for you to be a businesswoman that also cares for other and helps them and is very diplomatic and caring and loving. I mean, perfect numbers for your business. Woohoo! And, <laughs> and a big perfect. part of your business is relationship building Well, that's what well, I was right? thinking. So like, it's, it's more than just a bricks, bricks and mortar store. It's about like even people needing compassion. Even and, what we're doing here. Yeah. 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 It's, it's bigger than me, for sure. Very and, cool. Uh, yes, you have perfect numbers for running your own business, and you have perfect numbers to have two things going on and to be a corporate girl and to also be an energy worker and healer and teacher and counselor. Um, so the number two you both have within your breakdown, and two really does mean that, you know, light bearer. So it makes sense that you would... So is it the role. year ending in at the end of December? Well, there, there's or is always, it your birthday? Well, there is an influence to the birthday. There's always this argument among numerologists. I tend to believe it's more of a calendar thing. Okay. But we start to feel the influence of the coming year as early as October of the year before mm. and then the birthday can really dramatically influence or very subtly so mm. you know there's so many other numbers connected to the cycles we go through there's the challenge the pinnacle and the essence that I also do when I do a very large profile on someone so that really fine-tunes what are we doing this nine-year chunk of time what is the over overview numbers and so this is just talking about this year but there's all these layers of numbers that help me really direct and give them a little bit more feeling as to what they can do to really get the flow. And then we also incorporate um, my intuitive work into my sessions. And um, I have developed that, and I use the tarot. And the tarot is something that I've used, excuse me, uh, 
for That's years. interesting that you use the tarot. Yeah, I use the mm. tarot, and the tarot, of course, has numbers. Mm -hmm. And so I've developed my own spreads. Um, no one else does them, and my own interpretation of the cards. And um, I do two main spreads when I am talking about my numerology profile with my clients. And that helps me really fine-tune, and it's almost like it opens a door and allows us to see what's going on right now and what we can do to really help us really go with the flow and you know. fascinating do you teach tarot reading no i don't because i do it in a very non-traditional way that right. i really claim as my own and um you know there's some great people out there that teach i do not teach numerology either um i uh, understand what you're saying because i'm the same way with the tools i use i don't teach them because yeah. i do them my own yes yeah. yeah the life mapping i teach and i've done groups many times you know i used to do more of that than i do now I go out and teach kids even all about the life mapping but um, the other two things, I just, I really don't have the time to put into teaching it properly, but um, how I obtained all my information was through just the interest and really just reading and playing, and, uh, but it became a lifetime passion. So interesting, I have, yeah. I have no idea. It's fascinating, mm -hmm. numerology, it's so helpful. If you understand your partner's and your children's numbers, you can support them. I have clients that call me when they get a new grandchild. And we do a we do a we do a little oh, gift is that yeah, it's so great because I all I need is the full birth name and the birthday and I can do a little audio for them so that they can get a little bit of an understanding as to the personality of the uh, soul and then they can kind of loosely even use numerology to direct the child and I have had so much confirmation from people that indeed this is so accurate I know it is right oh, I have to get one done for my son I, yes, I was just thinking Christmas is coming. Yeah, it, it's well, the one so for a great. Session. Yeah, it's so great. I did mention in my newsletter that I do have gift certificates available till the twentieth, and then after that, um, and usually it's going to be you know used in the coming year mm -hmm. because it's it's we don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. right now, and um, I do take some vacation around Christmas time. But it's just a wonderful tool. Example: I would not be married to the man I'm married to if I wasn't a numerologist. I cut him so much slack <laughs> because <laughs> I understand the strengths and weaknesses of the personality. And therefore, you know, we can really help each other to evolve. Um, because, and it works. It's not, I'm just not guessing here. Mm -hmm. You can see yeah. it, obviously. And um, if you know, you know, what they're really good at and what they're not good at, then you can really have a better relationship, I feel, with your children and your partner and your parents and co-workers. Yeah. Essentially, it's another way of getting to the place of accepting another person for who they are. Exactly. Instead of trying to make them something else or, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. Because that changing or trying to change people is never going to work. But no. I think that acceptance and understanding yeah. will help you develop a deeper relationship. Or maybe it's just something you have to walk away from, yeah. you know, also. Yeah. Which I've had that happen with clients, yeah. too, that... Once they had that real understanding of their partner, they realized that, you know, through this they wanted more and they were incapable of giving them what they needed. You, you mentioned something, we have a little bit of time left. You mentioned before we started something about there's 900... There's up to 900 calculations you can do around a person's full birth name and birthday. Wow. I do not do all of them in my sessions because we <laughs> have to spend, imagine. you know, three months together to uh, dissect the whole profile. But wow. I fine-tuned and I've gotten the key things. So your vowel breaks down to numbers, your consonant, your full birth name is called the destiny. When I add up your day, month, and year of birth, it's the birth path. When you add the destiny and the birth path together, you get the realization number. Those are the five key numbers that I work oh, with. Oh, I'm like, shivers. Oh, that oh, is so great. amazing. It really is cool. And then there's these other numbers called balance of temperament numbers that are connected to your physical, mental, your intu intuition, and your emotional self. So you can fine tune that. Um, you can see addictive behavior, you can see repetitive history, you can see people that have all kinds of issues, and there's also ways that you can correct them once you become aware. Well, know, that's what I was going to go to, because when you mentioned addicted, you know, having, having sort of these patterns in our numbers, and, and, you know, I know you're not doing astrology, but in these things, that doesn't mean that you're, again, a victim to them, mm -hmm. or that you can't change or, or adapt or, you know... So do you, so you offer tools to people to uh, navigate through that, I guess. Exactly, yeah. and, and navigate through their own understanding of themselves. And, you know, if there's things, aspects they don't like about themselves, you know, I also have some tools to help to make those changes. 
Now, numerology, my work, is a tool. It's not the only tool. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, you have to find other pieces for your puzzle here. But I do believe that what I do has value. I'm not for everyone, but I do seem to attract the right people at the right time. And, uh, and it seems to work. Because you're doing... Because you're doing... You're doing you because you're you're using your gift. You know you you've learned things, but you you incorporated them and are doing them in your way, mm -hmm. and that's authenticity, and that attracts people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, right? I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's that it's that lesson of you know don't try to be somebody else. Just do what resonates with you. And yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that when I was in finance for twenty five years. <laughs> you know, trying to think I had to conform yeah. and be like everyone else and uh, well most people do that. Yeah, 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 yeah but I I'm so grateful for it because I think it gave me a professional way of approaching this non traditional mm -hmm. world. And also it made me very clear of what I don't want. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to move away from that you have to really think about what you do want. And yes. so yeah. it was a great thing in the bigger picture. Yeah. But and it, it gave you the stability easy. when you needed it. Exactly. Right? To pursue I mean that's what happened to me. That's that's what gives you the the opportunity is having well, the financial yeah, stability. Yeah, I don't equate being somebody else with being in the corporate world, though. Yeah. That doesn't mean the same thing. Like yeah. No, I'm just saying yeah. that there's the other opportunity. So many people are afraid of taking any other opportunity, even if they're not happy with mm -hmm. their the job that they're doing, their mm -hmm. career. They're afraid to step out of it, they don't, or they don't have anything to step out into. Whereas mm -hmm. the way I look at it is if you have that job that you're not that crazy about, you can still, it gives you the opportunity to look at something else while you're still comfortable and not worrying about the money and so on. Mm -hmm. I think it's harder to make the two really mesh together and yeah. you feel good with that. You know what? Yeah. Great, because you're, that's again the balance. That corporate girl, that eight, and then the other 26, you know, which is the healer, well, life error. Yeah, so you and can I make mean, it work. And I, when I was talking about not being somebody else, it, it's not necessarily in terms of what we're doing or what we're doing for money. It, it's just in who you, who you are, right, in every day not allowing you to be yourself as opposed to conforming to what you think other people want you to be, mm -hmm. right? Or what other people don't want you to be. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't thinking of it in terms of, of job or, mm -hmm. you know, career or anything like that. And I don't think that everybody is meant necessarily to be self-employed. Otherwise, we'd mm -hmm. have a lot of services that don't, <laughs> that don't get done. And, mm -hmm. and I can see know, that in numbers. I can yeah. see definitely, you know, the backseat driver, the supporter, the mm -hmm. people that maybe don't have the confidence and assertiveness to, to move forward and run their own show. I can see that right away. I saw that you have it. And right away, so do you. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you have the ability to the strongest numbers, like I said. But there are people that are very happy being in that supporting role yeah. and uh, wouldn't even think to uh, make a stand. So yeah. we need, of course, the balance of both mm -hmm. in our world. Really. And in both, you can be yourself. Exactly. Is my, yeah, is what I mean. Absolutely, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and numerology is just a way of understanding who you are and how you can live more comfortably with yourself. That is awesome. Uh -huh. I'm booking my session right yeah, after we're done we're here. Very yeah. excited. Fantastic. We're very excited. Oh, okay. that's great. That's good. Well, thank you very much. Can you say again your website? Yes. Oh, wait, I think I know. I don't, uh, it was your number. Your nope. days are numbered. 333. 333. .ca. Perfect. And my email address, in case anybody wants to send me an email, is lbaird at istar.ca. And, um, That's L-B-A-I-R-D? Yeah, lbaird at istar.ca. If you go to my website, like I said, you can um, get yourself involved in getting my newsletter. And also in my newsletter are my specific services and fees and um, a great, um, some great information on people that I'm experiencing and want to share with you and reading material. So it's, uh, and also, of course, my forecast. So it is beneficial. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you Fantastic. so much thanks for, for yeah, thanks for coming on. Thank you for really having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.